Hey, I'm Hans and welcome to Tech Edge. When it comes to storing data on your computer, you have quite a few options. One key decision you'll have to make is whether you want to use traditional hard disk drives, also called HDDs, or solid state drives, known as SSDs. But what's the difference? And how do you know what's the best for your particular build? Well, let's drive, I mean dive, into it. To get the basics out of the way, hard disk drives work by storing information on a series of spinning platters. Information is read by a head, similar to the way a vinyl record player produces sound. It's a mechanical process that happens really fast, but is still limited by the physics of the HDD head moving from place to place on the platters. Solid state drives, on the other hand, store information on flash memory, where it can be accessed by the memory controller in a purely digital exchange. As such, the term solid state refers to the fact that SSDs have no moving parts, and it also means that they're capable of accessing information faster than HDDs. So, given those key differences, if your PC is installed in an environment that's subject to vibration or movement, an SSD is likely going to be the best choice. Tests have shown that an SSD can handle as much as 25 times more shock and vibration than an HDD without resulting in damage or data loss. Returning to the record player analogy, you can imagine how terrible your listening experience would be if you tried to play a record in a car driving down a bumpy road. When it comes to writing data to a spinning HDD, imagine each of those skips representing potential data loss or damage to the disk itself. Another disadvantage of HDDs is speed, and that's related to the mechanical design we were talking about earlier. It takes time for the section of data you want on the spinning platter to line up with the read head. That delay is called access latency, and it can have a pretty significant impact on performance, especially on smaller read requests that aren't sequential. Conversely, SSDs have a direct digital pathway to each storage area, which significantly reduces the time it takes to access. In general, we tend to recommend SSDs to the majority of our industrial computing clients because of their speed and because of their reliability. That said, while SSDs have come down in price over the years, HDDs still generally have a lower cost per gigabyte. If you need to store large amounts of data in a cost-effective way, you can accommodate the access latency and your installation isn't subject to any vibration or impact forces, HDDs are still an option. One other characteristic of SSDs worth noting is that their flash cells can only be rewritten so many times. This is called write endurance, and it's typically measured in DWPD, which is drive writes per day, or TBW, which would be terabytes written. As an example, the Transcend 652 series has a DWPD of two, which means that you can fill the entire SSD with data two times a day, and it'll still last roughly through the three-year warranty period. As such, applications with heavy repeated sequential disk writes, like surveillance or image acquisition, might be better served using HDDs to optimize the longevity of the drives. The way you deliver power to your computer is also key for storage. Both HDDs and SSDs can be damaged due to unexpected power loss, and going long periods without powering an SSD can result in data loss over time. How impactful that'll be on your application will depend on the way you use your data, which is why we always recommend working with one of our solutions architects when configuring an industrial computing solution. So there you have it. In defining the advantages and disadvantages of SSDs and HDDs, we hope we did you a solid. If you still have questions though, please leave them in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, we'd appreciate if you gave it a like and considered subscribing. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on TechEdge.